It was just yesterday that I predicted against what was uh, announced by the Icelandic Meteorological Office that the land rise has reached the, and passed the threshold level of the previous eruptions. And, and there is a possibility that the magma has shifted northward based on the interferometrograms of the GPS data that was available kindly to the Icelandic uh, Meteorological Office and the uh, Icelandic uh, University, University of Iceland. So you could see that on the GPS data that the magma is shifted northward in the latest one, that was from the 10th of July, you could see, and I've marked it here with a um, rectangle, and I've further zoom on that area you can see that i was showing that the magma has a spread laterally northward and this is what we are seeing this is uh, the magma rising and trying to push sideways when the previous eruption pathways are practically blocked in a way you can say so there's yet semi-solid and being a non newtonian fluid they need vibration earthquakes so that is what we had last night and the magma which was present to the extreme north erupted like this And to our surprise, the fissure which opened near the Little Skog fell, it actually further extended toward the north, most extreme toward the north than any previous eruption since 2023 when we had the, uh, this period of eruptions. And that is what exactly what I said, well, I predicted and I showed it on that diagram. Watch that video again, you may enjoy it actually. Last time we had an eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland in the volcanic system of the Svartsengi. It was in April, something like this. And this was uh, after a while that we had several multiple land rise and fall, the latest of which shows a land rise equal to around 40 cm. If we calculate the area involved in this and multiply it by this uh, change in the height, we come to the figure of 120 megatons, million tons of magma accumulated under the uh, Swartzengi. Of course, the GPS data and these diagrams shows that this magma doesn't stay there. It practically comes up and like a blob spreads out. The latest uh, uh, interferometer shows that interferometrogram shows that actually uh, we have a spread of the magma which was accumulated before that you saw it in the earlier ones i showed you is now spreading toward the west and north mostly and the arrows i've drawn shows that movement so it comes up and then it spreads there are a lot of cracks around this area the earthquakes and all the things created these fractures and then the land gradually rises and falls when this is spread happening right and if i want to show it in a you know a time lapse mode this is what you will see and we are seeing them also all on the gps data although we had out layers like this one uh, rectangle blue re rectangle around 5th of july 5th to 7th of july that is what we are seeing uh, it, it was originally we thought is an error. You can see all the stations it can be real. This can again show some of these rises and falls. At the moment, this is what we are seeing. Any moment we may have an eruption. It's a long waited eruption since the April. We are waiting for this. It may happen, but it takes a long time because every time the magma is getting more viscous and the fractures filled up, it's getting more difficult for the magma to erupt.